in January 2022, I launched a channel called Jack Sucks at Español. This channel was all the videos I upload to this channel, pero doblado al español por actores profesionales. This was inspired by other YouTubers like Mr. Beast, who had already launched successful channels in Spanish, and at this point in time, YouTube's new audio track feature did not exist. Now, Jack Sucks at Español was actually quite successful off the bat, and it got to 100,000 subscribers quite quickly. But within a few weeks, I realized a major issue. I told all of my English-speaking audience to go subscribe to this channel, which meant that most of the audience didn't speak the language that I was speaking on that channel, which obviously leads to very low watch time on each video, and therefore YouTube didn't share the videos with really anybody. Which is a big issue for me, because as you'll see in this video, it costs thousands of dollars to professionally translate your content. So because each new upload was getting less and less views, in a desperate attempt to save the channel, I started an advertising campaign, where I spent £1,000 trying to share the channel with the right audience. And it helped a little bit, I got a few extra subscribers, but it really was not worth the investment. So after several months of trying, I eventually had to give up on the channel completely because it was just costing me too much money. But then, out of nowhere, four months later, someone pointed out in one of my Reddit videos that the channel had randomly gotten 640,000 views, which I was very, very excited about. Something magical was happening. YouTube had finally pushed the videos to the correct audience. So I logged into the channel for the first time in four months, excited to see that I would have actually made some money for the first time, and... Every single video was not monetized. I don't quite know what happened, but at some point monetization had been turned off, which meant that for my 640,000 views, I had earned 11 pence. <laughs> But nevertheless, something was clearly happening with the YouTube algorithm, and I was not about to waste this opportunity. So I reapplied for monetization, and then I started a plan to relaunch this channel, having no idea the journey that I was about to go on. Okay, it's now been eight days since I first realized the channel was not monetized, and I missed out on my first ever opportunity to actually make some money from Jack Sucks at Espanol. You'll see now that the channel is monetized once again. This video is being monetized, this video is being monetized, this video is being monetized. Excellent. But in the last eight days, Things on this channel have gone kind of mental. Remember those analytics you just saw, 643,000 views in the last 30 days? Well, those views are this little bump right here. You might be thinking, why is the bump so small now, Jack? Well, that's because I don't know why, but this happened. Now, you might be thinking that I got all of these views because I uploaded the first video in a while, but that's not the case. I actually started uploading on the channel again because videos were doing well, and I thought this was an opportunity to bring the channel back to life. Let's just throw a bunch of new videos at it. So basically, this massive influx of views, which completely dwarfs the previous influx of views, are almost exclusively from the Spanish version of me sending Mr. Beast's play button into space. This is the analytics. I've honestly never seen anything like this on something that isn't a short, so you can see that the video was released January 1st, and it got 2,000 views on day one, because just Jaxus Espanol was not doing particularly well, and we can slide away, you can see that after a month it was on 15,000 views, which is just not that many, you know, I'm never ever gonna make any kind of profit, we keep going, very little traction, but it's still slowly growing, we're now 100 days later, 45,000, fast forward another month, and this happened, whoa! <laughs> What on earth happened? 131 days after it was uploaded, it got a million extra views in the space of like three days. And you can see because the channel got monetized, we actually earned money. 477 pounds, which means for the first time I have a video on the Spanish channel that has earned more than the cost of me converting it into Spanish. <laughs> But yeah, that video popping off meant that a few of my others started doing well, so this other play button video has had nearly quarter of a million in the last 28 days, which is epic. If I click on the individual analytics, you can see that once again, almost all of the views <laughs> are from the last seven days. Well, that is so weird. What on earth? This video is 438 days old, so this shows you, do not give up. If we click on audience, the first time ever this channel has its intended audience. The top geography isn't United Kingdom and USA anymore, it's now Mexico. Argentina, Colombia, Chile, Peru. But yeah, I honestly have no idea what's going on. You can see that currently we've gotten more views every single day, and I don't know if that's going to keep going up. But the Spanish team have been fantastic at jumping on this opportunity with me, and as I said, they've whacked out their first video back after a four-month break, and you can see it's performing really well compared to previous uploads. 66,000 views, I'm really happy with. The watch time is like 60% of the video compared to like the 3% that it used to be. On the individual analytics, 
It's earned 26 pounds. I'll take it. And speaking of revenue, obviously I've been earning nothing while the channel's been demonetized. But as soon as that got enabled again, we were actually bringing in money, like 200 pounds a day. That's amazing. I'm buzzing with that. It is interesting to see, however, that the channel has an RPM of 44 pence, whereas my English speaking channels have an RPM, which basically means how much you earn per thousand views. On my English speaking channels, it's more like £2.50, which means for 2 million views, I would have earned thousands as opposed to hundreds. But that is to be completely expected because countries like Mexico and Argentina are a lot less well off than countries like the USA and the United Kingdom. So Spanish speaking advertisers can't afford to spend as much money, but that's fine. At this point in time, I'm just so unbelievably excited that the channel's actually doing well. I'm genuinely just so excited. Like if I go to the comments of the newest video, there's just people chatting away in Spanish. I have no idea what they're saying. Hopefully they're saying nice things. If they're not, I don't really mind that much because at least they're saying something. So yes, the channel has gained about 20,000 subscribers in the the last 30 days the views on all of the uploads are just suddenly absolutely amazing so we're gonna keep it going with two or three videos per week hopefully it doesn't slow down i'll give you another update in like a month or something it has been exactly a month since i last spoke to you and things on the spanish channel have continued to kick off a month ago this video was released you can see it ended up doing really well since then i released another video which did even better 383,000 views and then we thought well seeing as things are going well let's double up so instead of one video a week we'll release two so we released a video from my geography channel, 88,000 views. Then another main channel video, 48,000. That one didn't do anything crazy. Then it was beaten by the next geography upload, 100K. Continuing on, 125K, 71K, 58K, 13K. So it's not like every video is just exploding, but this is now a channel that has an active and engaged audience. Like if I click on this random video, there's just loads of Spanish speakers chatting away, engaging with the channel. But I told you things have kicked off, and so far you might think, well, that's not crazy. Well, let's go back four weeks to when the channel just suddenly started popping off and I was getting half a million views in a day, you might be thinking, Jack, that hill doesn't look quite as big as it did a month ago. Well, that's because this has happened. <laughs> yes, that's right. Jack Sucks Espanol is currently getting 2 million views a day, <laughs> which is a little bit more than what Jack Sucks Alive is currently getting. And that is because we decided to start releasing shorts again. And as you can see, many of them are doing very, very well. What it seemed to do is throw a bunch of shorts that I'd released a year ago back into the shorts algorithm, which has led to more really weird analytics like this one. <laughs> we can see that this short was trundling along after 100 days, 14,000 views, not bad. But then suddenly, 312 days later, okay, it just shot up. <laughs> 4.8 million and gained the channel extra 24,000 subscribers. So how many subscribers is Jack Sucks Espanol currently on? Well, a month ago it was 158,000. It is now 258,000. So 100k gained in a month, which is crazy. Like it's currently grown faster than Jack Sucks Geography and Jack Sucks stuff. So things are just going crazy on this channel. I cannot believe it. I'm so, so happy. However, let's be honest. I've invested thousands and thousands of pounds into this channel. So if I'm not making thousands of pounds, then it's still not really been worth it. Well, don't worry, because we're making thousands of pounds. Last 28 days, 2,220, which is a bit more than how much it costs to actually get a professional voice acting team to dub and edit all of the videos. So on this month alone, I'm technically in profit. And if this keeps escalating for another three or so months, I'll be making a profit overall, which is excellent. And if I change to the last 90 days, that jumps up to 4,200, which is just amazing. And just look how mental the analytics look. 999% increase on every single chart. <laughs> So we are going to continue to release two videos and two shorts per week. Keep this channel nice and active and hopefully things will just keep snowballing. Yes, another month later. It is now July and the 15 million views that I got in June has turned into 29 million views in July. Keep it up. Your channel has got 67,000% more views than usual in the last 28 days. That is one hell of a boost. However, even though I have twice as many views as I did last month, I've actually earned half as much. £1,139.10 which unfortunately is not enough to cover the monthly expenses of hiring voice actors and channel managers to run something like this. But Jack, if you've got so many more views, why have you not earned more money? Well, you will see if we take my 29 million views, 28 million of them are from shorts, which as you all know, don't really earn very much money. So it's amazing to see how well the Spanish shorts are doing, like 9 million views, that's incredible. And it's actually mental how much they're beating the English originals. So for example, this video here has 6.7 million views 
views. The English version got 1.7 million. And then when I reacted to how many gold play buttons there are, 100k views in the original, the Spanish version has 2.4 million and so on. So I am loving seeing how well the shorts are doing, but I'm not going to lie to you. I'm disappointed with the performance now of the regular videos. The hype that we were having a few months ago with these videos has really quite slowed down. And you know, 40,000 views per video, that's really good. I'm pleased with that. And when I click on the video, it's got 2,000 likes. There's a bunch of really happy, enthusiastic comments. But unless these views on regular videos at least triple, I can't keep it running because I'm just losing money each month. Now, we are getting loads of subscribers. We've well passed 300,000, but they're all from the shorts. So most of them are probably just going to continue only watching the shorts and not watching any of these regular videos. I've also had to slow down the rate at which the channel was uploading because they were doing eight per week. But obviously, I only upload about one video per month on Jack Sucks at Life. So they're going to run out of videos way too quick. If we go into my original Jack Sucks at Life channel and we click on one of the videos, I am uploading Spanish audio as well as a few other languages to my main channel content. So if I click that and we watch the video, it's in Spanish with the same voice actor and stuff. So it really makes way more sense to just concentrate on audio tracks and have an international audience on one channel instead of having an entirely separate channel up and running. That means two channels to manage instead of just one. However, I can't ignore 29 million views. So while this shorts are doing so well and while there's no audio track feature for shorts yet, I'm just going to keep it going with two shorts per week and one video per week. Also, very interestingly, about a week ago, I discovered this TikTok account with 79,000 followers that has been uploading my Spanish content in separate parts. And if we scroll down, oh my god, do they have a lot of views. 7 million views on this video. Look at that. 600,000 likes. And that's just part one of my space video that they just re-uploaded. So many of these videos have so many views. So this proves there is definitely a big Latin American audience that is interested in this content. But unfortunately, they are watching it on the wrong bloody place. So I can't really do anything about the account. They weren't technically pretending to be me. I wish they weren't just re-uploading my videos. But to try and take control of this, we have launched a Jack Sucks at Espanol TikTok account where we're just going to re-upload the shorts in the hope that it'll show more people I exist and they'll search us up on YouTube. So those are my current thoughts about Jack Sucks at Espanol. At the moment, yeah, it probably can't continue and I should probably focus just on audio tracks instead of a separate channel. But if it's getting 100,000 subscribers a month, potentially I could get another gold play button. And is it worth losing thousands of pounds per month just for one more gold? Old play button when you already have four? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> but maybe when I see you in August, we'll have had a big boost in the number of views on the long form videos. Hopefully that is the case. Let's find out. It is now August. It's been about five weeks. My 368,000 subscribers has turned into 635,000 subscribers. And the 29 million views I got last month has turned into 48 million views this month. It's safe to say this is currently my most viewed channel by about 18 million. So not too long after the last recording, there was a huge spike and the shorts started exploding again. You can see I got 5.2 million views in one day and then that kind of kept up in the millions for a while. It has slowed back down again now, but to be getting 600,000 daily views on an international channel that isn't any new work from my end is absolutely crazy. <laughs> the estimated revenue has actually gone up quite a bit, £1,900. I'm now getting so many views on the shorts that it's actually turning into a decent chunk of revenue, 529 quid, compared to 1300 from my full-length videos. Speaking of full-length videos, how are they doing? Last month, they weren't really too hot. We were on like 30, 40,000 views per video video. Whereas now that has gone up a lot. 126,000 on this one, 200,000 on this one, 300,000. So it is all going very well. The team behind this channel are doing an amazing job. Malcolm is an incredible voice actor. I'll be honest, I've been recording little pieces of this video for the last like six months at this point. So I do not remember what I have and haven't said. <laughs> but yeah, this is a really cool thing to have set up and running alongside my other projects. I did this YouTube short a little while ago on my original channel where I was trying to get a YouTube comment to get like 500,000 likes. So I commented poop on that short and you can see I've got lots of likes. But a couple of weeks ago, the Spanish version of this short came out. So I'm now trying to get hundreds of thousands of likes, but in Spanish. And we've got the Spanish version of the word poop and everything. <laughs> 
So yeah, if the subscriber growth keeps up, I should be at a million subscribers on this channel before the end of the year. And when we get to a million, I will break down exactly how much I've spent on this channel versus how much I've earned back. Because I actually don't know at this point if I'll end up making a profit or not, because this is very expensive to do. Just quickly, the Jack Sucks at Espanol TikTok account that I made. It's grown a little bit. It's got 15,000 followers. Generally, the videos aren't popping off, but a few have done. And the ones that haven't popped off, we're going to delete and re-upload to give them a second chance and maybe even a third third chance of the algorithm just to like really maximize stuff okay this time it's actually been eight weeks instead of the usual four basically i just didn't want this to get too repetitive so i just waited a bit longer eight weeks ago we had an impressive 635,000 subscribers and now the channel has just surpassed 900,000 subscribers one million coming soon baby however it's not all good news if we have a look at the analytics from when i left off back in august we were having a whale of time two to three million views every single day but then August hits and I guess people go back to school and that is when the views started going down And if I'm honest that decline has just continued more and more well into October as you can see now We have been uploading slightly less videos firstly because the Spanish team were just a bit busy and secondly because we've recently Kind of ran out of new videos to release for a long time This channel has been running off videos and shorts that I have made over the last two years But now we've basically uploaded all of those shorts and I I'm at a stage where if I make a new short on my original channel, Jack Sucks at Life, I have to immediately send that short over to the Spanish team so that they can get it translated and uploaded onto Espanol too because we don't have anything else to upload anymore. So to be honest, this dip in views, it's quite concerning. If I change to the last 28 days, 21 million views is obviously amazing, but it is far from the 50 million plus views that I have grown used to over the last few months. 600 pound earned in the last month isn't really gonna be making me any kind of profit on my investment either. For whatever reason, and the recent shorts that we've been releasing on this channel have not been jumping into the algorithm in the same way that videos a couple of months ago were. Perhaps it could be to do with the fact that all of these shorts were the ones that I made about Mr. Beast. <laughs> Whereas my recent shorts are about me. <laughs> There's still some interesting things happening though on my original main channel. I made a video challenging YouTube to comment on the video and they did, look at that, they said first. But now there's a Spanish version of that same short and currently there's no approved comment from YouTube. So I wanna see if they've seen it. I've searched for channels with over 100,000 subscribers and YouTube have not yet commented. But would that be really cool if I got a comment from the English YouTube and the Spanish speaking YouTube team? Now talking about long form videos, I told you back in August that we were gonna try and re-upload some videos that did not perform well when the channel was kind of dead. So we did that two weeks ago with the video where Jimmy challenged me to make my Tesla pink. The first time this was uploaded, it had 30,000 views. Now the new upload has 62K, so that's worked really well. However, the next upload, it's actually done quite badly. 20K views in 10 days for a channel with 900,000 subscribers. That's kind of concerning. But maybe that's just because this video where I dyed my hair pink is very old now. You know, it's nearly two years. People don't care anymore. But there we have it. That's October. 900,000 subscribers getting very very close to the big one mil. However, these downward spiraling analytics are quite concerning. If we take a look at subscribers, you can see that that growth has also slowed down a lot too. So if I'm getting less than a thousand subscribers a day, we might not be at one million before Christmas, which is kind of the goal I've been aiming for. But hey, it could all go back up in another month's time. I'm going to do a cool hand transition this time. Hopefully Jack in a month remembers or it'll be really underwhelming. Woo! I'm back again. Just a quick update this one. We're now on a delightful 960,000 subscribers, which is an increase of about 50k. It's a lot slower than 250k like we were getting a few months ago. But when you just saw me a month ago, all of my analytics were going down. Whereas now you can see everything is on the up again. Look at that. We're getting back to 1 million views per day. You can see we're consistent with the videos and with the shorts. 2 million views in the last 48 hours. Mwah. Subscribers specifically, they're on the up. So I'm confident that when I see you again in just a moment for yourself, we will have over 1 million subscribers. I've also got a new lamp since we last saw each other, so that's cool. My new shorts obviously had their dry spell for some reason, just weren't quite popping off. But if we scroll up, you can see that things seem to be getting back into the algorithm again. This latest short's a particularly fun one. If I click on it, you might get a little bit of context. So this is actually something that I recorded over a year ago. And it was a YouTube short where I talked about the most commented on YouTube video and and I then encouraged people to comment on the very YouTube short so that we could create a little paradox and potentially
actually become the most commented on YouTube short in a YouTube short where I'm talking about the most commented on YouTube short. So this is my English version and as you can see we got 284,000 comments which is a lot but it's nowhere near the 19 million record. But anyway the Spanish version of this short came out just 22 hours ago and as you could see it's a 1 of 10. There's Oh, the, the confetti stopped just as I was pointing it out. I'll refresh the page. There it is. Yay! Confetti. Woo! <laughs> so this video is doing very, very well compared to others. And it already has 21,000 comments as well. And they are coming in very quickly. Look at this. We're international, baby. It's just so cool to me that I could, like, set a challenge in English, like, a year ago. And now here we are doing that same challenge to a totally different audience elsewhere in the world. And everyone's on board with it. We've got multiple comments from the same user because they just want to get the numbers up. That's so cute. I probably already said this earlier in the video, but I do not remember because for me, it was like eight months ago. But massive shout out to my Spanish voice actor, Malcolm. He does an incredible job of sounding just like me. What's really weird to think about is that this very video will be translated into Spanish and Malcolm will just be forced to compliment himself. <laughs> But yeah, Malcolm and the entire team at Lightwood Studios do an incredible job. Anyway, it is time for a million subscribers. I have to wait, but for you, it's about to happen any second now. Ho 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 ho! Bet you're excited to see the channel have 1 million subscribers. Well, maybe I can do three better. 1.3! million subscribers. Yeah, I accidentally went over by 300k. Sorry about that. This is obviously because of our newest shorts, mainly this one, 6.6 .6 million views. This is the short where I started a subscriber award with Tommy in it. And at first, I didn't think it was worth uploading this video to the Spanish channel because Latin American speakers had no idea who Tommy in it is. But I'm really glad we did upload it because I've got an extra 190,000 subscribers from it. But yes, here we are with 1.3 million subscribers. That is absolutely insane. This is what the channel looked like when I started recording for this video, and this is what the channel looks like now. And actually thinking about it, this is what me and my office looked like when I started recording this video, and this is what I look like now. It's been nearly a year. I feel like I've literally aged. <laughs> So now that we've got over a million subscribers, obviously, I've got one of these to unbox, which I'll do so shortly. But I know that you will all be desperate to know the financial side of things. So let's go through that first. So here's an example of the invoices that I get each month. And I'm actually, for the first time, breaking down exactly how much this all costs. So this was back in April last year, which was a particularly busy month. We had a lot of videos translated. So you will see that this nine minute video where I got a 100 million play button cost 234 points. $38 to write the script, voice act, and replace any text. So it's not cheap. This really does add up. I actually spent nearly $2,500 just in that one month. So I've gone ahead and added up everything I've spent on the Spanish channel since January 2022. And it comes to a grand total of a pretty terrifying $15,690.68. Oh, that is a lot of money to potentially lose. So let's just quickly match up the currencies. US dollar, save. And now for the first time, I'm going to look at the lifetime analytics of this channel so we can find out have we made a profit or not. My prediction is we haven't made a profit, but we're not that far from breaking even. So $15,690 to beat. The lifetime earnings are... We actually made a profit! Yeah! $16,931. $35. I meant dollars. Sorry. Oh my god. I, I did not think that we'd actually be in profit. I mean, obviously, you know, $1,900 earned over two years with quite a bit of work on my end. Probably not worth it. But to be fair, it has created a lot of jobs for other people and it meant that I got one of these. So, do you know what? It was worth it. And to be fair, this is just the analytics on Jack Sucks Espanol. It does not take into account my earnings from Spanish audio tracks on the Jack Sucks Life channel, which obviously are the same audio files. But not only am I translating my content into Spanish, I also now translate it into Russian and Portuguese. So, I mean, I'm still losing money effectively. <laughs> but long term, it's probably beneficial. Either way, audio tracks is a separate video. Very quickly, I'm going to mention the TikTok account. It's got to 24,000 subscribers but nothing's really going particularly crazy there. It's still nowhere near as successful as that fella that was just re uploading my full videos. But who cares about all that? Because I've got a gold play button to unbox. Here we go. Very, very excited. Crack into this fella. It's been a while since I've opened a gold play button. I'm pretty hyped about it. Of course, we have our package by Rick Card, and we've got our YouTube letter, which I think is the first time I've received a letter from the new CEO, Neil. But most importantly of all, we have 
my gold play button. Jack sucks at Espanol. Congratulations on a million subscribers. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching me document this process in terms of what I'm going to do with Jack Sucks Espanol next. Now that we've got the gold play button, I think I'll probably keep doing the shorts because they're quite cheap to produce. But for those that are watching on Jack Sucks Espanol right now, if you want to see my full length videos translated, you can do that automatically with the YouTube audio tracks feature on Jack Sucks at Life because it just makes way more sense to concentrate on that one channel with multiple languages rather than spending the money running two different channels with the same content. It was worth it for this but it is time for that to stop. Thanks everyone for watching this video. Thanks everybody that subscribed on the Espanol channel. Thanks to Malcolm, my voice. Thanks to Michael. Thanks to Joe Quinn. Thanks to the entire Like It Studios team. Thanks Becky for editing this video and putting a year's worth of footage together. And thank you for watching. All right, let's go. Let's end this video finally. <laughs>